this is Mika. Welcome back to Living with Mika. Malachi and I are sitting here eating breakfast. Yeah, today was just one of those days that we kind of ran behind on things. Um, Malachi is about to get ready for school, so we just wanted to come in and say hello. This is Vlogmas Day 2, you guys. Yeah, today I won't vlog as much because I have to go to work tonight, so I will not be vlogging much today, but we just wanted to come in and say hi. And I'll probably pop back in later so you can see Dez and MJ. All right, Mouse. Do you want to show them our shirts? Because we're ready for Christmas. So now ah! we both have shirts on with the gingerbread man and they say, oh snap. This is mommy's. It says, oh snap. I wear a lot of holiday shirts leading up to Christmas when I'm working. I probably have a, a different shirt for every night I work. <laughs> Uh, and if I have to repeat it, I will. I normally grab new shirts every year. Uh, I just picked up Malachi, a new one. I haven't grabbed me a new one yet, but I will be grabbing a new sweater. I seen some cute ones at... Can I talk? I seen some... I seen some... This is what we deal with. And that's why I keep these on my ears at all times. I know they're raggedy. I got... I'll talk about that later. Anyways, I seen some cute holiday shirts at Walmart when we were there the other night. And then where else was I, Malachi, when I saw cute holiday shirts? I can't remember. It's kind of hard to concentrate when you have a kid doing this. Under so I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go. And he's hiding behind my back. You see that? He doesn't even want to. We'll let you guys go now. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey man, today is the second day of December and Dez is coming to show you guys her baby bump. 37 weeks today. Yep, yeah, look at that baby bump. That baby is almost ready. You're almost baked and, and cooked and ready to come out, huh? How you feeling today? Yeah. A lot of heartburn. A lot of heartburn. So this baby better come out with some hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I'll be down to see MJ later. We did more stuff on day one and then we're doing on day two, three, and four. Um, I know I'm on my way to work this morning. It I was supposed to be there at nine and it's like, yeah, it's 12 minutes after nine. So yeah, you guys, I'm running behind. I had to get Malachi's lunch going, ready. I try to make sure that Malachi's breakfast and Malachi's lunch is ready to go for Scott so that Scott don't, you know, have a hard time prepping his stuff. So that's what I was doing this morning and I my alarm clock went off at 6.30 and I just didn't feel like getting up until 7.00 which I should have gotten up about 6 or 6.30 so that I would have had more time and been on time. But you know what? I always got next Saturday. I will be on time. I am not a morning person at all. But once that water hits me, I'm awake. I guess I'll try to come back when I get off of work and maybe uh, you guys will get to see the family. So you guys have a beautiful day. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Uh, uh, welcome back to my channel. Anyways, y'all, it is starting to feel a lot like freaking winter. It is cold as hell outside. And I'm on my way to work. What, I might 
stop and grab me a bite to eat. I think I'm gonna do that. I just stop and grab something to munch on. My lips are dry as hell, sorry. Anyways, you guys, I am coming in on my ride to work, which I'm probably gonna stop here and run in the store real quick and grab me something to munch on because I'm a little hungry and I don't want to be working. I hungry. So, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, you guys. Got me some chips. A couple left. My favorite honey buns. And a cream soda. So, I'm going to have fun on my way to work tonight. I know it's unhealthy, but I don't do it often, so it is what it is. I have my chips on the way to work. Get the seatbelt on. Alright, y'all. Anyways, hello, hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing great. I'm sorry I haven't been you know what? I'm not even going to apologize, y'all, because I said I was going to try. And um, I did that. Um, I'm not going to do vlogmas. I'm not going to do vlogmas because I don't think that I'm ready for vlogmas. Oh, I'm sorry for the bouncing of the camera. Oh, I'm going to try my hardest not to be jiggling y'all all around. But, um, I'm not gonna do Vlogmas. Because I don't think I'm ready for Vlogmas. Um, but what I, I got too much going on, y'all, to be doing Vlogmas. So, I mean, well, actually, I don't do enough. Ooh, honey. Actually, I don't do enough for Vlogmas. Um, you know, so... Right now, we're pretty much planning and preparing for the new grandbaby to come. And I think Vlogmas is like more so preparing and planning for Christmas. We are going to be doing some Christmas stuff, but we're like late Christmas people. Sometimes we be like on time for Christmas and sometimes we just be for Christmas, huh? And I think this year we're gonna be running behind for Christmas. We didn't even put on Christmas lights up this year. Um, don't even got no Christmas tree up yet. I'm starting to wonder why. Why even put one up? Because I'm sure most certainly don't like taking them down. Um, and then you're supposed to take them down like. January. Girl, we don't be getting no Christmas tree down until like February, child. I personally could care less about putting a tree up this year. But my husband, I think he really wants to put one up. Um I'm 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 all for it if we do or if we don't. It's it is what it is. Um Yeah. So anyways, I'm just gonna uh come home y'all. Sorry. I'm just gonna turn this vlog into preparing for baby or countdown. Countdown for baby. That's how it's gonna be. I'll let you guys uh you know meet I'll let you guys meet MJ and Desi, Desi, so, yeah, now, it'll just be you guys, count down with us, count down for baby, so, hope you guys are all right with that, I mean, there's a lot of people out here doing vlogmas, and, 
and they are seasoned in vlogmas honey and Mika ain't and I know how to run my race and stay in my place and I'm not doing vlogmas mm -hmm. but with that being said I'm still gonna vlog I'm still gonna bring in you guys be bringing you guys in to my home and just seeing what we up to hanging out with us um I want to talk about healing I want to talk about my healing journey because I feel like it's important I, I feel a lot better I think sometimes we have to be willing to just let people that hurt us, we need to let them go. You can't keep letting them back into your life only to keep re repeating the same cycle of pain over and over again. If you heal from it, that doesn't mean that they have healed from their traumas. Hurt people hurt people. Um, I may look crazy right now because I'm trying to pay attention to the road, feed my face, and talk to you all. So, it is what it is. Let people from your past go. Also, past relationships. Like, me, personally, I do not think that if you are done with a relationship, you open up that can of worms and allow that relationship back into your life again. Um, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a reason. There's a word. There's a meaning for X. <laughs> and, uh, X means X. <laughs> you do not let X's come back into your life. I'm just sorry. There's a reason why they're X's. It just ain't gonna work, sweetie. Oh, God. I could really go into depth with a lot of thoughts and just things I be sitting back thinking about and uh, another thing is if you're dealing with a breakup the worst thing you can do is try to heal yourself by jumping in bed with somebody else you do not heal like that. I only talk and speak from experience, y'all. And the way to heal yourself and to gain, regain your strength back and your power back is abstinence, man. Like, boxers, even when they're preparing for a fight, they cut off sex because they have to regain their strength you know from within and the only way to regain strength from within is being abstinent sex only makes you weak it makes your brain a little blurry Funny. He's so silly. He's so silly, man. 
you so silly. Nice little tickle. Say bye, friends. Yeah, I think I can walk. I keep kicking my grandma. Yep, I keep kicking my grandma. Because I think I can walk. Why are you getting fussy on me? Stop pulling your hair. Stop that. Stop pulling your hair. Brrrr. Yeah, Malachi's still sleeping this morning. I need to get up and make my coffee. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Grammy's a bit tired this morning. Say bye, friends. Okay, guys. I am about to make me some coffee because I'm a little drag leg this morning again. Um, sorry that my camera cut out on you guys on my ride to work the other day. Yeah, I apologize, but I also think I was just going in. Because I'm sure you guys got it. You understood what I was saying. Um, I don't know. I was just led to share that message. I, I sit in here and I think about a lot of things and I uh, want to share. So that was something I just chose to share with you guys. And I hope whoever it was meant for received it and was able to look into it. Self-healing is a very serious thing. I, I've dealt with it and it's very important to go through that process alone. Um, yeah, but anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it video properly i just came back in to try and end it properly um around this time of the year i know a lot of people um don't really look at the big picture and uh the big picture is uh jesus birth you know so it's not about the presents it's not about christmas you know the presents and stuff about christmas it's more about, to me, around this time of the year, it's just more about getting close to family and loving on your family, the loved ones that love you. Um, yeah, and uh, giving, you know, giving, giving, giving. I'm a big giver. I love giving. Um, yeah, um, but right now I'm taking time out loving on family, so... Yeah, I will be putting out more videos, you guys. Uh, just won't be for Vlogmas. Until next time. Hold on, let me straighten up. Let me straighten up. Okay. Until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye, guys.